Neanderthals residing in Central Europe approximately 35,000 years in the past endured tuberculosis, a fresh DNA examination of their skeletal remains discloses. This marks the first instance of this ailment being detected in Neanderthals, prompting inquiries regarding whether tuberculosis played a role in their demise. Within two scholarly articles released in the journal Tuberculosis in December 2023, a global collective of investigators reassessed the skeletal fragments of two Neanderthals found in a Hungarian cave in 1932, and another group assessed them for Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the microorganism responsible for TB. Subalia Cave, situated in the Buck Mountains of northern Hungary, served as a refuge for animals and humans multiple times throughout the ages and is regarded as a critically significant site from the Middle to Late Paleolithic era. Hominin remains unearthed in one of those strata near the entrance belonged to a female adult and a child of approximately three to four years old at the time of death. Given the mix of Neanderthal and human characteristics on the bones, scientists have long believed the Subalyuk findings symbolized some of the final Neanderthals in Central Europe. Carbon dating of these remains in early 2023 verified that the child perished approximately 33,000 to 34,000 years ago, whereas the adult passed away sooner, about 37,000 to 38,000 years ago, already captivating due to their relatively late death dates as Neanderthals vanished around this period. The Subalyuk individual's bones reveal additional insights into their existence and potentially their demise. Clear signs of skeletal infection were observed in both Neanderthals, featuring bony lesions along the adult's spine and inside the child's cranium. These bone alterations, known as lytic lesions, indicate bone degradation, which leads to cavities. These cavities are subsequently refilled with new bone. Although lytic lesions may arise from various ailments, their presence and arrangement in the Sabalyuk Neanderthal's bodies strongly indicate tuberculosis, according to the group headed by Georgi Palfi from the University of Seged in Hungary. To verify this diagnosis, the research team headed by Una Lee from the University of Birmingham in the UK extracted bone samples from the two skeletons and conducted tests for Ms. Tuberculosis DNA presence, both tested positive. Moreover, a technique known as spoligotyping, utilized for detecting TB gene sequences in a specimen, confirmed the diagnosis for the child, while lipid biomarker analysis, which helps in identifying microbe communities within a specimen, further indicated that both Neanderthals were afflicted with tuberculosis. Drawing from the morphological observations alongside their biomolecular corroboration, it was deduced that tuberculosis existed in Central Europe during the late Pleistocene, around 36 to 39,000 years ago, Palfi and associates documented in one of the recent studies. The identification of tuberculosis in Neanderthals introduces another query. How were they infected? The presence of TB in large ancient European animals especially bison, offers a clue. Neanderthals engaged in hunting and consuming these creatures likely acquired TB from them. Thus, tuberculosis represented a threat not only by being a direct health hazard, but also by reducing populations of prey animals, Lee and the team reported in the alternate new study. Corey Philippec, a paleopathologist at the University of Derby in the UK who did not participate in the research, suggests that the studies present a fascinating method extending beyond just our species' comprehension of the illness, and suggested that the findings could pave a path for understanding how human actions facilitated these pathogens to integrate into our disease ecosystem. However, Philippec advised that a thorough non-destructive examination should always proceed, especially considering the scarcity of Neanderthal materials. Subsequent investigations in this direction might unveil fresh data on ailments that impacted Neanderthals and possibly on the causes behind their extinction, as per the research group. Lee, Palfi, and their associates determined that their findings bolstered the notion that TB might have played a role in the Neanderthals' extinction and recommended that this hypothesis ought to be rigorously explored. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.